you were saying about the, the measurements of emotion. How do you measure emotion and take into account the subjectivity of emotions and that a certain level of feeling for me might affect one decision, whereas the exact same amount of emotion for you might affect a completely different um, action. How do, how do you be, sort of make yourself get real hard data around emotions whilst dealing of that subjectivity of it? Yeah, so um, I'm going to unpack that because there's a lot of pieces to your question. Um, and the first thing I'm going to come back to is, and, and I'm going to um, differ from the, the earlier uh, assumption that you made or assertion that you make, which is, um, I don't believe, well, a lot, and, and you didn't say this, but lots of people do, and it's sort of consistent with some of the discussion, right? A lot of people say you can't manage what you can't measure. Um, I think that's a bunch of crap. Um, we, we manage almost everything in our lives without measurements. Right. You wake you woke up in the morning. I woke up in the morning. I got out of bed. We washed up. We got dressed. We had breakfast. All those things we did without any metrics associated with them. So when when organizations say we have to have metrics around everything, what they're pretty much saying is we don't understand it enough that we're going to offload it to some numbers and numbers are never enough to run an organization. Right, so we have to have an understanding. Now we have numbers associated with that understanding. That's good. So back to the um, the question about um, um, sort of measuring emotion and it's subjective. I, I will say that um, pretty much any customer feedback you get is subjective. Right? There's who is the customer, what's the context, what's the environment that they're in, and that's shaping what they're telling us. Um, it turns out that I don't think emotion is any more subjective. We just have to understand it a little better, right? And I think, um, first of all, if we understand emotions in general and say, all right, emotions aren't just this sort of random set of things, that there actually are, is good research out there that can identify a certain number and types of emotions. If we look for them and understand them, then we can figure out what we're doing. So for instance, most people think about emotions on sort of a single absolute scale from like really happy to really sad right, sort of one scale, but there's lots of other emotions that in many cases are more important, and I'll, and I'll share one of them, um, confidence, that it turns out that, and we, we've done a lot of research on uh, um, what emotions lead to better outcomes for customers or business, and it turns out having a customer that is confident um, during or after an interaction is a very important for emotion for them to have. Yeah. So we could, how can we figure out confidence? The same way we can ask them about anything else. How confident do you feel about going forward or blah, blah, blah. Um, and so we can, we can find emotion in the same survey mechanisms we use. Um, but there are also some really cool technologies that are coming out um, that can gauge emotion by actual conversation, you know, in, in a contact center. Um, we can look at calls and analyze calls from speech analytics that go through uh, a filter of emotion and do that. There are technology, there are companies that are actually in real time looking at the emotion of a caller and suggesting what an agent should do to rectify an emotional problem that's happening. So I think that um, emotion is, as we understand it better, and it gets back to the metrics thing, I never want us to measure and try and manage something that we don't understand. We need to understand it a little bit better first and then apply numbers to it and we can measure some of it. Um, but I think a, a lot of the technologies that are out there, a lot of things that we're learning are making it much easier and much more practical to um, talk about and sort of implement emotion-based types of uh, activities. 